do, uh, we already did Pisces, we're going to go back to uh, Aquarius, we're working our way back to Aries. Uh, might be closing a cycle. Let's see here, let's shut Aries up though, just to make sure. I like to do this just to make sure. I'm not getting any of the old energy of the last reading in here. Holy Spirit, would you link me into the soul cycle of Pisces? What should they be aware of? Or not Pisces, I'm sorry. Holy Spirit, would you link me into the soul cycle of Aquarius? Uh, what do they need to be aware of? The constellation the shooting stars out there. Giving us hope. Uh, what do we got in... It's the heart of the matter, Holy Spirit. The heart of the matter is the hanged man. So possible Pisces energy could be looking at things from a different angle, sacrifice. Um, I think it's called the spirit of the mighty waters. It's like the turbulence, you know, like the... Sometimes represents like uh, Jesus on the cross, uh, like uh, that's a righteous sacrifice, right? But I mean, yeah, upside down, it's like uh, like self-serving sacrifices. But this way is uh, this is an actual sacrifice, like one that's you know needed. And take, looking at things is from a different level. I don't know why he's got the. In this one, he's got the uh, he's got a tattoo on his ass of the I guess it's of uh, Jesus or not Jesus the um, Star David. All right. Uh, what do we got in the um, oh challenge is the Ten of Wands, so extreme burdens, the Lord of Oppression. So the challenge is burdens, is extreme burdens, currently. Is a challenge for you, Aquarius. Uh, that's that makes sense because the hangman. So it possibly is you are going through a sacrifice right now, and you're sacrificing something. There's extreme burdens. What do you got in subconsciously? For our Aquarius is the constellation collective of Aquarius is here. So, Okay, I'm gonna take this one first. So subconsciously, you're thinking of a princess of wands, so like a younger fire sign, possibly the uh, princess of the shining flame. Okay. Sometimes known as the postman, gets around a lot. Uh, what do we got? In the past, we had the six of swords, the lord of earned success. So. Six of Swords, yeah, like gaining some victory. But there is something hidden in it or something possibly maybe a little frightening or there's something hidden about this victory. <sighs> what do we got in um, the... Present situation. What's the present situation for Aquarius? This one, Holy Spirit. Is strength. So that's Leo energy, the daughter of the flaming sword. So this is Leo energy. This is like uh, strength, like female strength. Like uh, being able to endure, like using just enough strength when you have to and not over overdoing it. Like So you become like a, I don't know, it's seen as a brute or a bully, but like the, the female side of strength, you know, like. See how she's taming the lion there? She's patting him on the head. A lot of it, there's an angel on the front. I don't know if this is an angel on this one, but they, she's opening the mouths or holding the mouths of the lions, right? Like Daniel in the lion's den there. And the angels came down and uh, closed the uh, closed the mouths of the lions. So that the lions wouldn't eat them. Uh, it could be angelic strength as well. 
Uh, what do we got in the... Um, whoa, okay, wow. That's a lot. In the future, you've got two things blocking you. You've got the Lord of Love and the Tower blocking you. So some kind of love offers blocking you or some kind of... T which leads to a tower moment, I'm thinking, that is also going to block you. So some kind of tower blocking you. And the Lord of Love, which is like uh, basically like the minor arcana for the lovers, so it could be a Gemini or like, I don't think it represents Gemini in this one though. It's uh, just a love offer, like the meeting of two people or like, a, could be even a business, um, business, uh, uh, business, Business, <laughs> business, um, associate or something like that, yeah. But also, that's what's blocking you in the future. But in the future, you also have, oh, hey, okay. The Lord of Sorrow, which is heartbreak. So that's like heartbreak in the future. And the Queen of Pentacles, which is the Queen of the Thrones of the Earth. Which could be, I don't know, she's kind of like my sugar mama card. She's, she could be like um, an earth sign. But like uh, like uh, maybe a business owner's wife or some kind of, uh, yeah, she's usually pretty pretty well put together financially. Like she's usually got her shit together. Yeah, I don't know, she's got a sledgehammer in this one. So hopefully she's not like that, that, uh, that author's fan there in the misery. <laughs> but, I don't know, maybe. But, anyways, yeah. Wow, it's quite. A, there's a lot happening in the future. You could have. This could also be a blocked love offer. This could be like a love offer that's blocked. Like some something or a tower could be blocking a block a love offer. Or a blocked love offer could lead to a tower, which could be any combination of those things. What do we have in the, um, the way you're influencing your situation for Aquarius? It is nine of cups, so that's like uh, Lord of Material Happiness. So this is like luxury, like like uh, lavish living, like uh, like comfortable living means uh, like a good, a healthy, a healthy household. Um, sorry, something to do. Somebody was saying something. I was watching a reading today about some retrograde or something maybe that's they were talking about their words being jumbled that could be why I'm stumbling on my words today I can't seem to I don't know uh, what do we got in hopes and fears uh, we've got ooh, reverse the lord of swiftness so there's something it's going to be very message coming in but it's going to be very slow so messages are coming through very very slow because this way, it's the Lord of Swiftness. This way, it's like the opposite of Swiftness, which is slow. So, using these messages. Could be messages of love, too. Which could be that block, block love offer, possibly. So, uh, that's your hopes and fears. That messages won't get through quick. Or, you could be hoping that messages don't come through quick. I don't know. Depends on your situation, right? Uh, what do you got in the lens you're looking through for Aquarius? The lens you're looking through. Lens you're looking through. Lens you're looking through. Is the Queen of Cups. Okay. So, and the King of Cups. So you got like a uh, exact match here. The Queen and the King of Cups. Which is, a, this is obviously a couple. Is the lens you're looking through is some a couple. <laughs> And this is a master of feeling. She's also very, like, lovey-dovey. And she's, like, uh, the both is very nurturing, loving, loving people. Like, you know. Like, this one's a good leader because he knows when to love and when not to love, right? Well, there's always time to love. There's different ways of loving, though, right? Like, there's times where you have to conceal your feelings and there's times when you can let them flow, right? So the lens you're looking through is a uh, match. Some match couple. Some couple that you're you're thinking about or looking at. Uh, what do you got in the environment? The environment is... That's too many spirits. That's way too many to 
<laughs> chariot. Okay, seven of pentacles, mode of success unfulfilled. So this is like working at something that's just not panning out. This is um, the three of wands, lord of established strength. So this is like gaining strength. So maybe this is in the environment. So I don't know. This is like you're gaining strength in something, but possibly you're losing your success is being unfulfilled. So, uh, but you're gaining control of the environment or dealing with the Cancerian, which is good. So maybe this means like in the environment, your, Lord, your success is being unfulfilled, but you're gaining control of your environment and the Lord of established strength. So you're establishing your strength by gaining control of your environment. And that makes sense. And the outcome of this scenario, the outcome, give me a couple for this one because of all that block, we need to explain that blockages there. What's that's all about? What do we got here? Eight of Pentacles, Lord of Prudence. Okay. That one I'm actually going to look up. <sighs> this deck, I'm not too familiar with it. But we'll, we need a couple more for this one, Holy Spirit. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. It's upright, so it's spinning in your favor. Look up this Lord of Prudence. <sighs> Lord of Prudence. Ah. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Lord of Prudence. A hand at the bottom of the card barely touches the stem of a rose bush, which, while four right roses touch only the lowermost pentacles. No rose buds are seen. All the pentacles are without any crosses or wings. The pentacles are very intricate, signifying intelligence. The alternating black and white indicates the negative and positive sides of prudence. A large sun radiates in the center of the uppermost pentacle. Above and below are the symbols of the sun and Virgo. Sun in Virgo, 1 degrees to 10 degrees. Angels, Achaia and Kehethel. Meanings, overly careful in small things at the expense of the great. Penny wise and pound foolish gain of ready money in small sums. Apprenticeship. Okay. So, it means like just focusing on the wrong things. Like, you should be focusing on the bigger things instead of the smaller things. Um... What do we got? Give me a couple more for this one, Spirit. Is it, what's blocking this love offer? Or, or how, what is this block, love offer being blocked by? Or like what is what has to do with this, this two of cups that is blocking and this tower that's blocking? I want to know more about that, Holy Spirit. These two? Okay. The last judgment and death. Oh, that's a bad combination. The last judgment and death. That scorpionic energy is death, and the last judgment is the, okay, the child of the great transformers. This is death isn't always a bad thing, though. Death can mean like um, transformation, but the way I'm seeing it in this one, something to do with a okay, all three of these are major arcana in a row. We've got the wheel of fortune here, which is like fated event, fated event to do with like fortune. Could be like uh, you got death here which is um, scorpionic energy. And you got the last judgment, which means like this is this change that's coming is not going to be like a change that you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to fight this change because like, there's, like I say, there's three major arcana there. That's all divinely guided. This is the last judgment. So this judgment is going to, or this transformation is going to be forced upon you by the po higher powers. So whatever it's pertaining to, Mm, judging by this card here, it could be maybe not focusing on the right things. Being pound foolish and penny heavy, or the, the, I think it's the other way around. That's what I would say. Uh, but yeah, that's three major. How many major arcanes do we got here? We started off with the hangman. One, two, the moon, three, strength, four, five, the chariot. Six, seven, eight. So eight 
major arcana. So whatever's happening in your life right now is definitely being divinely guided. Oh, nine. <laughs> that's my life path number. Oh no, that's not nine. This is this is uh and the uh, underlying energy. Uh, oh, the underlying energy is a queen of wands. So this is over a fire. The queen of the thrones is a flame, which is uh fire sign uh does not be a female but could be female um yeah okay so that's all i got for you aquarius but yeah this change that's coming is i would just try and grip it because it's gonna be i don't know it says here is in your future you have heartbreak too remember you also have uh you're being blocked by a tower and a love off. A, or some kind of love union is blocking you. So, I don't know. Because that's came all blocked. But Anyways, good luck with that. If anything, change sometimes is, is a little uncomfortable, but it can be um, very enlightening. And it can, it can usually you come out stronger on the other end as long as you deal with it the right, right way and look at it as, a, as an opportunity to grow.